Hey folks, before we begin the installation, make sure this is completely clean. And we'll be covering the top and bottom pieces of the sides of the bumper. I'll start with the top piece. First, uh, I'll spray with soapy water. You should already have a bottle in the installation kit and uh, just fill it up with water. It already has soap in it. And spray. Then spray the actual BPF on top. Then peel off and spray the adhesive side. And then align. Now, align here by this corner and this line. It will stick out here because it will wrap around the edge. Then spray the film on top so that your squeegee will smooth freely. Make sure the film is not showing up from any side on the bottom and start removing the water. Wherever the film wouldn't want to stick, um, use clean water without any soap. That's in another photo, bottle. And just spray the adhesive with clean water multiple times if needed. That will wash out the soap and make it stick. Now let's do the bottom, again make sure this is clean before you install anything, spray with soapy water, spray the film, peel the film off, spray the adhesive, and then align. And I'll spray the film one more time on top so that the squidgy will move freely. And notice that I'm installing closer to the outer side. And the reason is that it's very easy if you align here and you, you're here. It's very easy to have slippage here. Uh, so the film would eventually drop and be misaligned. So I'll basically align this parking sensor here. And I'll make sure that these cutouts, where they start, aligns with where the curve starts. And these cutouts here are pressure lead cuts to allow for easier installation. And here, where there is a lot of pressure, I'll use clean water as a tack solution. Again, this is just clean water, which washes away the soap, allowing the film to stick. Now, if you're installing this in cold weather, as I am right now, the film might be a bit stiff and not very easy to conform to curves. So if that's the case, I recommend that you just use a hair dryer or a heat gun to warm up the film, in which case it will become softer and conform to these shapes much easier. So I'll grab my heat gun now and uh, I'll continue the installation with it.
see how nicely this thing uh, installed. Now, notice that here are the pressure relief cuts. You may get these like wrinkles. They're very easy to handle if you know what to do. Peel this off. Spread a bit of clean water. And then pull up. Uh, so you basically stretch a bit. And then just try to, uh, to tack it. And again, the same thing here. Okay, now the top looks fine. Before I seal the bottom though, I recommend that you spray the film again. And squeeze out again, this time apply more pressure, so that if you have any bubbles left, they'll go out from the bottom. Now the bottom follows the same principles, it has a pressure relief cut, I'll spray with clean water to wash out the soap, so that it's easier to tack this at the end. And that's pretty much it. 